Hello, everyone out there. Believe it or not, Radio Free Decipher is back. Back on the air. Yep. This is Evan Lorenz. I'm Kyle Hoyer. And we are joined today by Kendrick Summers. Hey, everybody. How's it going? So, what, oh, a, well. what a long, sad story. To, uh, to, <laughs> but, but we'll make it short, actually, as... Um, it began with our, our snow days. Those of you who are logging onto the website in January back to back. Will, will recall we had back to back snow Fridays. All inch of snows. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not exactly summer and snows out here, but uh, without any snow removal equipment, uh, you're pretty much housebound around here. Sure. So, uh, so that that took us out, and then they were remodeling the whole area. As a matter uh, of fact, we're in a brand new, uh, well, I, I would say radio-free <laughs> room, but, but it's not. It's <laughs> not. It's actually our photography studio, but yes. it's also now um, hosting the radio-free thing. So the radio-free desk is yes. now just like pushed into a corner, and when it's time to record RFD, we like. Yes. Pull it out from the corner. But you know what? It's all for the better because we there's actually a room with a door on it. Yeah, there's a, there's a door and there's actually room in here. That's with, right. With the doorknob, too. That's right. These are things that the poor little RFD closet never had. And uh, we got to give a big shout-out to our uh, staff photographer, Jason Wykunis, who's yeah. hanging out in the background, sitting at his desk, listening to us, like, yes. you know, make fools of ourselves. So hi, say hi real loud, Jason. Hi real loud, Jason. Nice. So there you go. <laughs> Jason. So one day we'll have him on here, but not today. <laughs> well, he just was. But oh, anyway. that's right. Uh, so, Kendrick, how you been? Hey, hey. What's coming up? Uh, we got a busy year planned. We are in the process right now of receiving requests and making plans for our Fierce Tour. It is uh, yes. the Black Rider Tour where the nine from Decipher are heading out into the into the plains and hills to promote the Lord of the Rings TCG. There's now, a lot of excitement those about there when I first heard this announced. Yeah, we're, we're excited about it. For those um, people out there that only come to RFD, you know, because it is sort of a little the, bit of a... The um, new people have been you know, really and, and for five never, weeks. And never go to uh, Decipher.com. Why don't you get everybody a little bit of an overview of the whole program and what all is going to be happening in all these things? Okay, the Fierce Tour is basically uh, a, a way that Decipher harkens back to the days when we would hit the road and grasp Roots promote our uh, our trading card games. We're uh, heading out to retail locations around the uh, around well in North America and in Europe primarily uh, to go to retail shops, play in tournaments. Uh, we're gonna put bounties on our heads when we're playing in the tournaments. And if you get if you meet us at a retail shop and play in one of these tournaments and beat us, we're gonna give you an additional prize. So get your gameplay skills together. We're gonna be passing out a special promo card from. Year four of the Lord of the Rings TCG. It's the Black Rider card, and it's a foil. And it's a foil. It's an alternate image foil card uh, that um, you can only get by participating in some way in the in the Fierce Tour. There'll certainly be more information about how to get these cards for those of you that are, uh, you know, in, in an igloo listening to Radio Free Decipher and, and don't make it to retail stores or conventions. So stay tuned. Do they have cable modems in igloos? Yes. Cool. Well, the guy going on Yahoo does. I don't know about this. Nice. Yeah. So uh, tell me this. Does uh, does this promotion, this whole going back out on the road, bring back fond memories of your early days at Decipher? Fond memories. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kendrick's in a different place now. He's got a you know yeah. a, a little baby at uh -huh. home, right. and you know he's fat and lazy. So <laughs> no, I'm just kidding about all that. <laughs> nice. That's all just a joke, everyone. I'm no. going to kill you. <laughs> no, you're not lazy. Can, can so, you give uh, us a, an idea of the time frame um, of the tour and maybe some highlights of cities that we're going to be hitting on? Sure. Let's uh, <laughs> let's start with North America. That does indeed include Canada. Uh, we're hopefully going to be kicking off at the end of March, early April for the first legs of these tours. And basically what it is is uh, the Cypherian will fly into a particular city in North America and um, drive to retail locations, drive to another city, do more retail locations, drive to yet another city, uh, and continue on that path uh, until they have completely exhausted their credit card limits, the gas <laughs> in their car, all right. and all the product that they're bringing with them, and then fly home. Um, so, for example, uh, Kyle is going to be doing a tour probably uh, towards um, uh, the end of March uh, that will start him in Houston, take him uh, up through Louisiana, probably in Shreveport, up into Little Rock, Arkansas, and end in Memphis. Uh, so if any of you out there in the cities, look for Kyle to be uh, hitting your retail stores coming soon. Kyle's going to be a lot trip. of fun. Yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. And I've been be talking to some of the, the retailers out there already, and they're really, really excited. Oh, about yeah. All the so. requests are, are about, you know, I've got a, a hugely excited player base. Mm -hmm. um, we want we want your guy to come out here. Everybody's going to, you know, whoop ass on them and, and all the <laughs> bounties. And so uh, get us get us out to, to the retail store. So, um, you know, at each of those stops, we'll be giving away the cards and, and running mm -hmm. booster draft tournaments and um, giving away cool stuff like T-shirts and, and lots of cool, fierce prizes. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Excellent. What other, What other? Um, just off the top of the head, if you know it, I mean, this information really hasn't gotten out there, but what cities and what people do you know who's going where? Yeah, if you can well, give us just a brief overview or something. Of course. For the for the first legs of all the tours, there are nine of us. Two in Europe, of course, uh, Marcus Shepard and Yuri Hosta uh, are going to be Marcus is going to be in Spain and Portugal, I believe, on his first tour. Yuri is going to be doing Poland and the Czech Republic. I don't know what the specific cities are on those tours, but that's where they're headed. Uh, um, I'll be, I believe, traveling to the Pacific Northwest, starting in Spokane, Washington, heading into Portland and Salem, and uh, maybe as far as south as Eugene, uh, and then back up through Seattle and just into British Columbia. So. Uh, more info on on that one, of course. Uh, Kyle, like I said before, is going to start kind in Houston, end up in Memphis. Sean Smallman uh, is going to be in upstate New York and eastern Canada. Uh, Kevin Reitzel is going to be in Denver, heading south into New Mexico and dipping into El Paso, I believe. Mm. Dan Bojanowski will be in Milwaukee, Chicago, and the greater St. Louis area. Uh, Joe Allred from the TCG studio is going to be in Florida. Uh, all the major cities in Florida, except for the Panhandle, that'll come later. Uh, and Mike Reynolds, another TCG studio guy, is going to be uh, doing the great trek from Boise, Idaho, through Salt Lake City, down into Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, the, the the last part of that tour is going to be pretty nice, I'm yeah, sure. Massive drive for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. From memory, Kendrick, I'm impressed. Yeah, well, it's I mean, it's a lot of work laying all these tours out, and Kyle is, is starting to get a taste of that because he's aggressively working on his tour. So they they should all really uh, shape up really well. Well, I want it, I want my leg to be really cool. I want all the players to come out and have a really good time, and you know, talk to the retailers and show them that you know what Decipher is all about, and make sure that they're on board with all the new programs that we have mm -hmm. going on and, and stuff. So say that Kyle man, he had a nice leg. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> no, but I, I just want to make sure that, you know, it, it's well promoted and everything, yep. so lots of people come out and, you know, yep. hang out with me. So Absolutely. It's all about hanging out. Yeah, it's, nice. it's also important to note that for each of the retailers participating in this tour that um, they're going to have a minimum of four weeks' advance notice to do the promotion and, and get their community involved and get the tournaments posted and get everything ready to roll. So this will definitely be a well in advance planned uh, trip for each of us going out there. And for those of you that aren't aware, um, these tournaments that you'll be able to get extra prizes by beating us at are going to be bounty, uh, bounty mm -hmm. booster draft tournaments. They're booster right. drafts so, uh, from the Towers draft uh, pack, correct? Mm -hmm. So we're already trying to, uh, you know, get some practice in here so that we won't. Uh, so we won't you know, suck. Yeah. So so that you know we actually have a good showing and those people can say, hey, those guys know a little bit what they're doing, mm -hmm. you know, because right now we need the help. So and the tutorials that we're doing for you, uh, although they're not really working that well, I mean, I, I think you'll, you know, we'll do okay. You know, the <laughs> the uh, very first uh, towers draft done with actual cards, you know, like not cut out sleeved and such were uh, went on last week upstairs. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And it, the whole bounty idea is, is Kyle's idea. And nice. as, as we understand it, he's like undefeated in bounty tournaments. I'm not uh, undefeated. I do very well in bounty tournaments. Right. So Houston, can you hear that? <laughs> the gauntlet has been thrown. Yeah, my so. current schedule, I mean, none of this is firmed yet, but my current schedule is that I got two days in Houston, a day in Shreveport, day in Little Rock, day in Memphis. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and Memphis and Little Rock are going to be weekends, so I should be able to get in two bounty tournaments each of those days. Yep. Cool. We we are not going to be able to post information until it's absolutely finalized and finished with each retailer, so please be patient about that. Feel free to email us and call us, but um, don't expect really to see any hardcore tours posted on Decipher.com really until uh, we get a little bit further, maybe even into the beginning of March. So just hang in there with us. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Black Rider Tour. It's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait to, you know, get those little pieces of, you know, crack out. I mean, the Black Rider card out. Right. Because people are going to be clamoring for that. But uh, since we brought you on today, we gave you another task 
right. to uh, to you know get everybody excited with. So why don't you uh, why don't you go ahead and, and start it up? Okay. Uh, have the starter decks been posted yet yes. on Decipher.com? Yes, they have. So everybody's had a chance to see the Battle uh, of Helm's Deep starter. The Battle of Helm's Deep Legolas starter with the Mumax mm-hmm. in the starter. Right. Okay. Well, what I'm going to spoil <laughs> is the War Mumax. Uh, <laughs> it's a three Twilight cost uh, possession. It's a mount for um, Southrons. Uh, of course, a bearer must be a Southron. It's a plus four to a Southron strength, and a bearer is fierce. Um, really the key difference that comes in with this card is that each time bearer overwhelms a character that it's skirmishing, you may add five. Um, so enjoy the pool. Five into the Twilight Pool, nice. right? Yeah, that's good. So it's it's one more cost than the normal Mumak, but it's also one more strength. Mm-hmm. That's it's, pretty cool. It's big. And there's that guy in the starter decks that goes and gets Mumak. Yeah, that's a strength 14 already. Yeah, he's a strength 14 already. So save six, please. Everybody <laughs> save six. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah, good stuff. What's the card number on it? Just so oh yeah, for the list makers. For the list makers, we are five R. Um, you know, now that I think of it, seventy-eight. The complete list of all the card titles and card numbers is already up. So I guess the so list makers. It doesn't are, matter. Yeah, not really too worried about that. And the lore. I guess not. With the guy in the igloo, maybe. Yeah, the the lore is big as a house, much bigger than a house. It looks to him. Okay. A gray clad moving hill. What? Wow. <laughs> no, he, he, he totally mangled that, man. I, I good, think you need your glasses, man. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Very nice. What other news we got going on, man? Oh, I had a very busy week uh, working on kind of like polishing touches on Energize, actually, with Brad. Nice. Uh, Writing lore, writing subtitles, going over playtest feedback, uh, g- getting stuff together. As, as good as the big as a house lore? I, <laughs> Much I, bigger? I, I just, that? like, trot all over that. Oh, okay. it's, it, right. it's good stuff. Yeah. Actually, no, uh, as you know, we, we're kind of using quotes a lot on second edition these days, and uh, we're continuing to do that in the first set. So I haven't had to write too much. Good stuff. Yeah. What else is going I mean, it's been so long, I feel like we should just keep... Saying about and you know this has happened in the well, last. Well, while month, we've been away, the let's see, the very first uh, current rulings for second edition were released, and that was a massive half column of one page. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like one sentence. I, this is the current ruling I document. I think it was three entries or you know, like five paragraphs or something well, very very small like that, but. Um, there wasn't much to So tell. all you tournament directors for second edition out there, make sure you're up on those three rules. Yeah. And it's uh, pretty important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will, uh, if there is an update to the current rulings document, it will come on the last Monday of the month, as was the case for first edition. So you can look for then, uh, if there will be any. Uh, we're not exactly accumulating ratings at a, uh, at a large rate mm-hmm. by design. So we may not have much to say come the uh, last Monday of this month. We'll see what happens. The uh, also of note, um, it's been a while since we brought this up, but the Premier Series Vegas is coming up pretty right. quick. Um, it's about a month away right now. Mm. So um, for those of you that need to prepare for that, um, the complete spoiler list for Battle of Helm's Deep goes up on Decipher.com on Monday. Mm-hmm. So you have but three days to wait for that. Cool. Um, so I'm sure everybody's going to be hitting refresh all morning yes. on Monday. Release uh, date March 5th, which is Wednesday. Right. That's right. No matter what you hear, March 5th <laughs> the release date. The release date for the product. For Battle of Home right. State. Right. Okay. Right. And um, let's see. Well, when last we were on, we were talking about the Smeagol Old Noser card, which uh, should be hitting stores fairly soon. Yeah, actually, it's hit in some yeah. places yeah. already. Um, all of the shipments for... Um, the initial um, big list that we had for our retail fellowship, they have all been shipped. It was somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't even know, about yeah. a bajillion retailers. And uh, those have all been shipped. Um, we're still getting in new people that want to be part of the retail fellowship and want to get in on the Golem program, so we're still accommodating those people. But um, since they were all shipped on Monday, a lot of places in North America have already started seeing the Golem cards. And uh, the Europeans sh- and international people should start seeing them in the very near future as well. Probably missing this weekend. Now, the Golem promotion starts this Friday. Uh-huh. Um, however, I don't think, uh-huh. you know, I-, I think if a retailer got them, I don't think they're holding on to them until Monday. Yeah. So 
but uh, you know some international people might miss having them by um, this Saturday. So we apologize for that. There was a few production delays, but uh, they're on their way. Yeah, in fact, to get them out on time because the production was delayed, uh, a lot of us were over at the warehouse That's last right. week we spent, sorting. We spent like three week, three days at the warehouse the, sorting golem yes. cards. We know how to say old noser in like seven languages. Yes, yeah. because what was the, they're all printed on the same sheet. There was know. one that was really good. What was the Polish one? That was that Gris. That was the Starry Griznak. Yeah, Starry Griznak. We, 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 we know what they look like. It doesn't mean we know how to say them. But we're fascinated with, you know, L's with lines through them and O's with umlauts. And I think the French like one that. had an X in it or something. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, they numbers. were good. The good one. The the German one was fun, too, because it was like eight lines of game text and no lore. The words were so long it crowded out the lore on oh. the German version. So that was kind of fun. Alter Schnuffler. Alter Schnuffler. That's right. Yes. Alter Schnuffler. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we we uh, had entirely too much fun uh, yeah. sorting yeah. foreign language versions. Yeah, fun. Yep. <laughs> no. But we bit the bullet and did it so they could get out there to y'all. Yeah. Mm. And today... We're cramming, getting Matrix flyers out the door. Yes, for the Matrix trading cards, which mm -hmm. uh, were announced in mm -hmm. the last... Uh, now, for those of you that didn't hear us correctly, correctly, that's TC and no G. Yes, these are trading cards. We're kind of uh, getting into a new uh, mm -hmm. new line of merchandise for us. Trading cards, uh, very top quality stuff, much yeah. better than you're usually used to seeing in the trading card industry. You should start seeing some information from us, basically on what um, will be available in the in the trading card. Yeah, it's be really interesting and really really cool. I'm, you know, I've uh, collected trading cards for quite a while, and and these are really exciting for me. So, uh, all of you out there that are interested in seeing some some printed material about the Matrix trading cards, go to your uh, local retail fellowship store. Uh, we're sending out um, flyers to all international retail fellowship stores and even uh, sports cards and trading card shops. So uh, go in there and ask them to, to take a look at that Matrix TC flyer. Uh, yeah. They're pretty cool. Good info on there. Yep, it's good stuff. And I think that about covers it. I think it about does. So um, thanks, Jason, for letting us use your room again. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> thanks, Kendrick, for being on with us today and giving yeah, us all cool. that cool information. And we're back, and, and, you know, barring more snow days and, and remodeling, we will be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend. Take care.